Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we'll take a look at the Atomic Shop. Since it's Tuesday, there is a new one. We should be given something new. Uh, afterwards, we're going to take a look at the daily and the weekly challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score. For those who are new to the game, I will also walk you through afterwards on how to do the score challenges if you all need some help. But anyway, let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's take a look at the Atomic Shop and see what we got today. Atomic Shop. There we go. Ooh, we got some sorcery going on. Damn. Great lock. Grognak Axe. So that this is a skin for a Grognak Axe. Okay. Quick check for the fallout first section, and there's nothing here. Alright, so uh, let's take a look what we got. So, this one, it has Grelok Throne. Where is the throne? That looks nice. So, it's like that uh, other bundle that we have, but it was barbaric, and now is this one. Okay, cool. I like that. Uh, then we got the Grelok Outfit. Here it is. The staff, there it is. The photo mode frame, I guess that's the player icon. What is this? Another player icon? Oh no, wait, this is this is an emote. So there's an emote player icon and a photo frame. There you go. Okay, cool. For a thousand five hundred atoms. Well. I like the I like the throne to be honest, but I'm just gonna wait for it to come with a discount. This is definitely something I'm gonna get. I'm also gonna get the barbaric one once it comes out again because it's been returning a couple of times. So I'm really hoping for it to come back soon again because this time I got items and I'm saving for that one or this one to come because I really like those thrones. Uh, now according to the patch notes here, I'm looking uh, through them right now. There's a picture. And he's sort of sing, sitting on the throne and sticking out his uh, staff, so it kind of like should work, kind of similar to the barbaric version. All right, so that's the outfit, the staff. This is the the emote, as we recovered. This is the, uh, the photo frame. Oh, <laughs> look, it's got a barbarian there. <laughs> Okay, so that's the player icon. Man, these are overpriced individually. Look at that. That's crazy. Plushy. There we go. Plushy Collectors. 250 atoms. Then we got the curtain set. It's, been, it's a returning one. Join my public team. That sh should be already there. So this is the Communist Returns Bundle. I already reviewed it last Tuesday, so you want to check it out. Feel free to review to, uh, the previous video. Ooh, the fancy bar set is back with a 30% discount. Sweet. But I'm going to wait for 50. Come on. Stop being greedy. 50 has been around before. I know this one sells good because this is a really good good bar set. But I'm not spending. Responders bundle. I uh, made a review of this video, uh, of this bundle, by the way. So you might want to check out the playlist before you buy. So yeah. These things you can see them right now on my camera when I'm starting on, on the the hot topic board. <laughs> uh, the future tech bundle I also bought it and made a full review as well. But w when I used to play on PC, uh, I really want to get that thing over there. But man, not 30% discount. Where's all the 50% discounts going? They just stopped giving those. Look, it's 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Stop being greedy. Repair kits. Cryptid suit. This one is also old. Okay, this is old, but this is epic. But come on. I'm not going to spend that much on that. Although it's already a good. You get the chairs, the three type of chairs, the bar set, the table, and that um, wall decor, the uh, pickaxe pilsner or whatever it is. So yeah, you pretty much get all the things that you got, you got here. 
So it's a really good one. I really, I really loved it. I had it. On, I have it on PC. Top guy pose for 250. No, thank you. Thank gaming feast chair. And look at that. The, put that glove over there. Come on, you gotta buy that battle man. And then you gotta get this chair, cause you see, we we got that thing all right there. <laughs> then giving feast table, okay. The plushie with the thirty percent discount. What's up? I might even gonna get it. I want to start collecting those plushies. Okay, the blood eagle bundle is leaving soon. As well as this outfit right here, the eagle totem, the blood e eagle ease, uh, nest is also leaving. Camouflage paint with a 30% discount leaving. I think better wait for it to go with some sort of a bundle. I'm pretty sure it's included in one of the bundles. I'm pretty sure. There's a lot of camouflage bundles, but I'm pretty sure that is included. So better wait for that one. The station pump skin pop shunga. Oh, damn. How the hell did I miss this one? And where the hell did it come out? Ah, it's the rocket one. Oh, okay. Okay. Lol. For 30% discount. I'm actually using a pop shotgun. Mine even gonna look good. For 350. I'm thinking about it. Shell shock backpack. Okay. Tough girl. Uh, 10 millimeter player icon. Ah, uh ah. -uh. It ain't taking my 20 atoms. I ain't alone. <laughs> Ooh, wow. They actually give free curtains? A free normal item? Not a player icon? Applause. 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 <laughs> well, yeah, I'll take it. Why not? The responder power armor paint is coming back for follow first owners. So if you want to follow first, it came back and... 20% discount. <laughs> so instead of paying 1,500, you will pay 1,200. But I would recommend only if you're using a lot of power armor and that is something you like. It's a really good one. I made a couple of good combinations of com combining the settler's shoulders with the responder shoulder thing. It, it, actually, it's a good power armor. Uh, but if I can wait, wait for a bigger discount. My personal uh, advice. Mr. Fuzz Kitty Rat, I have it on PC. Uh, it gets annoying with that with that music and stuff. Alright, there we go. Grognak plushy. There we go. So this is the item that's coming for today. And yeah, so we have a plushy week. So tomorrow we'll get Volboy 2000 plushy, then Alien plushy, Sheep Squash plushy, Mr. Pebbles. Rabbit and Crocolus. So all those are gonna come out through the entire week, and I'll cap. I'll uh, make a video on them so you don't miss out on them in case if you're looking for some of these. Oh man, come on, man! Now I gotta buy these stupid toys. Why is it just thirty percent discount, dude? That's a lot of plushies I gotta rebuy. Uh, some of them is gonna cost less. Oh, but I'm still gonna have to buy that one. Okay, you know what? I want to start collecting those. I'll take that. Fine. You, you, the Bakhtesna, man. You cockroach. I'll take that one, too. <laughs> I don't want nothing else. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. I'm gonna... I hope that plushie is not included in that bundle. That I'm looking to buy. Because if it is, I'm gonna be angry. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else I'll let you know within the coming week every day on the notification video so let's take a look on what we got for the challenges so challenges oh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven the hell did I miss there's Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa! What 
That is way more challenges than I... Oh, I, I think I read something that they were going to give us a compensation for some time. Some more challenges. I'm not sure. We're going to have to check on that. But we'll, let, let's see how it goes. But it's really nice of Bethesda of giving these. Because there was a lot of issues with the auto-completion thing. And uh, a lot of people were angry about it. So now you have the chance to get some stuff back. Alright, so let's begin. So for the for the dailies, build floor or wall decoration in the camp or workshop. That's straightforward. Build and uh, buy or sell an item from another player three times. Complete an event twice. Craft ammo workbench. Twenty four ammo required. Uh, gold star complete a daily challenge. That's if you complete any five of these, this will trigger automatically. Kill a death clock. Kill a mole miner. Level up. Uh, nuclear winter survive for 15 minutes. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Uh, repair armor or weapon. Okay. Uh, super simple. Use a photo mode in a teammate's camp. Okay, this one's a little bit different than what we usually had. So for the weeklies, build up a workshop or camp three out of three times. You gotta do display shelves and so on and so forth. So what you can do? Okay, never mind. Uh, Claim a workshop 10 times, complete a gold star challenge, so if you're going to complete this one uh, today, it will automatically trigger and you also complete this one, complete an event, craft or scrap clothing, armor, weapons 25 times, uh, deal a critical hit to an enemy, gather building supplies 3 times, kill a creature 50 times, uh, kill a legendary enemy 10 times, and level up 3 times, that is repeatable. So, actually, you know what, they're all like super easy to do but in case if you need help let me start with the weeklies and then I'm gonna jump to the dailies uh, for those who are not gonna continue watching this video from this point thanks all for watching you'll have a good one today and night don't forget to hit that like and for those who do need some help let's start reading this th thing through so I would recommend by uh, I'm gonna speak from a perspective of a new player so as if you just came out from the vault okay so that's the plan alright so Start for the uh, weekly challenges. Build a work, uh, build up a workshop or camp. I would recommend doing this one in a workshop. Uh, plus, you will get to do these uh, challenges, ten workshops. And do we have to capture a workshop here? No, we don't. So you will also trigger this one to work. So it, if you don't know what a workshop is, the workshop is the George Junkyard. This one right here. Uh, this this sign right here that you can see them all over the map. Uh, well, you need to find them. Sorry, you, you don't see them by yourself. You need to first un, uh, reveal the uh, the location. But for the new players, this is a low level. This is a low level right here. This one is a low level. Uh, and downwards, you can see the airport as well. You can see that one for food. There's building homestead, a lot of vegetables, etc. So all of these in this area, or you can just Google uh, workshop map locations, and you'll get the entire screenshot of all the locations of that stuff. So what you do is you capture it, right? And afterwards, uh, this, the game will give you materi materials to build, and you start building. So what you need to build is uh, containers, display shelves, uh, wall or floor decors. I would recommend you doing the floor decoration one. You just spam something five times and you get one out of three. Then you can do from the easiest one is plant a crop or build water source. You just spam it ten times and done. Or actually, you know what? Uh, display or shelves or containers in the build menu. There you can find them and there. That's how the sections when you're in the building menu are named. So you just build anything from those sections five times, five times and five times so just stick with these three these are already pretty much easy to do uh, everything else uh, well you can do them as well but you just gotta build more <laughs> and once you do three all three uh, out of five you'll get a thousand score claim workshops you gotta capture workshops ten times I've shown you them and by the way they trigger uh, a an event in two three minutes once you've captured it. it's a defensive event so once you're capturing those you will end up completing the events as so well as the uh, these two events from the dailies so that will help you get that done this one already explained once you complete the daily challenge from the uh, from the daily uh the star ah oh, the gold star daily challenge from the daily challenges <laughs> then you'll get that one triggered automatically craft or scrap clothing armor weapons for a new player, what I would recommend is pretty much 
pick up all the weapons, all the armor that drops from the enemies like Scorched or uh, I would actually highly recommend you to navigate to the Point Pleasant. There's a lot of cultists over there. They're all level 1. They drop armor, they drop weapon, they drop a lot of aid. So that's a good uh, section to go out in case if you didn't get any help from uh, like you know higher level players. That's that area will definitely help you with getting all of that stuff. And uh, once you scrap them, you will eventually finish this one as well. By the way, for those who are new, once you scrap weapons or armors, you also get to unlock mods when X amount of chance. So the more you scrap, the more mods you learn, the more modifications you can apply for your weapons. I have a tutorial that I've done pretty much two years ago about it. It still works because I did, made a follow up on it this year so it still works it's still good deal a critical hit to an enemy the best way to do this one is a shotgun so once again if you're a new player uh, kills scorch they will drop a pump shotgun use the pump shotgun uh, through the vats menu you'll have on the bottom uh, on your screen the critical meter and every time you hit uh, you hit an enemy with a critical because it's a shotgun it's like it counts as eight bullets per one trigger so with my shotgun I can do this like I don't know, with less than a minute. Uh, okay, uh, gathering s building supplies. Okay, uh, here is the thing. Where you see scrap, you see scrap junk to produce aluminium, scrap junk to produce concrete, copper, uh, oils, where it says scrap. Where it says scrap, what you can do, you can go to your Tinker workbench, bulk it, and scrap it so you should already have those materials if you bulk them and scrap them you'll get it done essentially I'm not going to tell you how to and where to get all those materials uh, if you'll be playing the game a lot you will definitely just pick up everything you see and you will get those materials in no time or this video may turn out to be over an hour long if I go into details how to get everything so that is pretty simple uh, or by the way whenever you scrap weapons and everything whatever you scrap still works here and that's super easy and collect wood if you want to do that one as well there's a lot of wood in the forest uh, kill 50 creatures that's pretty much straightforward you gotta kill creatures robots did not count kill legendary enemy uh, and this one I would recommend doing the public events when they pop up over here uh, they're gonna be higher levels so your job is to shoot the uh, the legendary enemy before the top uh, the higher level player kills it permanently so uh, the one of the best ones blackwater mine there's a uranium fever over there so basically try jumping to events where other players are participating and if you see a, a legendary just shoot it your your job is to shoot it before it get killed so once it gets killed and you took a shot on it it will calculate level up three times straight forward i mean you can do that really easy uh, build floor, wall decor, decoration, uh, uh, build floor or wall decor decorations if you're going to be doing this one. I already explained that uh, floor decor is the easiest one from them all. Uh, you will automatically complete this one. Build, uh, buy or sell another uh, item from another player. You just go to another player camp who has a vending machine set up and buy a bullet three times. Just one bullet three times, so it's going to cost one, bu uh, one cap per bullet, so you're going to spend like three caps. Uh, complete event already explained how to do that one uh, craft ammo on a workbench so let that that one's pretty new uh, I remember it usually had a hundred on it so let me just quickly grab 50 cal or just this one it's a hundred bam all right completed okay cool I got I, I know what that means now so you just gotta get 24 ammo yeah, I made a hundred <laughs> okay but anyway, let's continue. Continue challenges. What else do we have here? Uh, events completed. Uh, this one already explained. Deathclaw and Mole Miner. So Deathclaw, your only option is Deathclaw Island. That's gonna be. That's as far as I know. That's the only lowest Deathclaw you can ever find on the server. Uh, Mole Miners uh, as well. I believe that. Uh, D D D D D D D. Where's that? Uh, Welch. Welch has the Mole Miners. Uh, yeah, and uh, they're like not high level. Okay, you go there, kill them, done. Or once again, if you see uranium fever, go there, shoot the mole miners. The top players will kill them for you. It still calculates, and you get it done as well. Plus, you might gonna be lucky, and you'll get to kill three, uh, three, three, uh, three legendary enemies because it has a, it always spawns three legendaries. 
All right, so what else do we have here? Uh, Deathclaw level up straightforward. Nuclear Winter, I do not recommend doing, but if you want to do it, all you got to do is log into the lobby, bush hide for 15 minutes. Bush hide means find a bush and hide. <laughs> uh, repair armor or weapon, you can do repair that at your workbenches for the armor or weapons. Uh, you can do that with your own gear or the gear that you loot, whichever comes in if you feel like. Also, repair kits and other stuff uh, should work. I remember they worked, but you know, this is Bethesda. Things change here without us knowing sometimes. Uh, use a photo mount in a teammate's camp. So, that is, you need to be in a team and you'll need to go to your team's camp and there you use a photo mount. So, I recommend doing that one when uh, get on the team. Never mind, just get on the team and go to the player's camp and you should be there. <laughs> Alright, Z-Clan and everybody else, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, I see them, I read them, and I delete them. Have that in mind. So if you have something negative to say, you can always provide it with a good manner, I mean, without swearing. If you do swear a lot in my comments, and I notice you doing that a lot of, under a lot of different videos, you will eventually get banned, so don't do it. Uh, if you want to join a cool active community we play different games not just 76 we do have a discord over 600 members but read the rules because I am strict there as well uh, at the moment I am personally taking a break from 76 I might come back uh, I will come back with season 2 because I want to get all of those goodies or maybe if uh, Bethesda will release something new uh, will before the season 2 that will uh, get me to play 76 then I'll come back but at the moment I don't feel like it I have fun playing Diablo 3 <laughs> But anyway, if you got questions, ping the chat. I will get back. Y'all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like here, that. I'll see you later. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future, we'll go.